It's Ask an Attorney. Real answers to your basic legal questions. Hi, thanks for watching. What's the difference between an uncontested and a contested divorce? A lot of times, if you consult with an attorney, one of their first questions will be, do you think this will be uncontested? And a lot of times the answer is, yeah, I think that we'll be able to work through most issues. I think we'll be able to reach an agreement on how to divide our assets and liabilities and how we're going to co-parent moving forward. Nine times out of 10, that just doesn't happen. Nine times out of 10, the person who is seeking the divorce is hopeful that they'll be able to agree with their spouse on all those different issues. But at the end of the day, that doesn't always happen. So an uncontested divorce, a truly, a pure, uncontested divorce is one where both parties have pretty much agreed on the front end before they ever go to see an attorney that they want to be divorced. They've agreed on how they want to divide their assets and liabilities. They've more or less agreed on who will take care of the children, on what days, at what times, and there won't be anything left really to argue about to contest. So a true uncontested divorce in that there's already been a meeting of the minds between the spouses. Now a contested divorce on the other hand is when one spouse files for divorce, the other spouse is usually not very happy about it. Sometimes they know it's coming, sometimes they don't. And they may or may not uh, seek an attorney of their own. But even if they don't, they still might respond by filing an answer. We talked about that in another video. And, and so the divorce process begins. There's the complaint and the answer. And so what comes next? Well, now the parties are going to have to try and resolve who gets what asset, will there be alimony? Uh, when will the children stay with each parent? How much will child support be? So with an uncontested divorce, those issues have already been discussed, addressed, resolved on the front end. With a contested divorce, not so much. Mediation may be involved if the parties can't reach decisions on those rather large issues. There won't be a divorce trial until mediation is attempted. So if you're thinking about divorce and you haven't discussed it with your spouse, and you're not really sure how your spouse is going to respond. You're not sure uh, how you will reach decisions on dividing assets or whether or not alimony will be paid or received. You're not sure uh, who your children will be with on any given day and time. Then what you're facing is not a true uncontested divorce. You might be hopeful that it will be, and it would certainly be easier for everyone involved if it turns out that way. But if it doesn't start that way, then it's not really uncontested. If you've learned something from this video, please remember to like it, share it with your friends and family, and subscribe to this channel so that we can keep bringing you more videos like this about legal questions you may have that we can answer. Have a nice day.